Hello friends, welcome to all of you. Today we will discuss various specific clinical features associated with coughing. More precisely say, LRTI induced coughing lead to judgment of underlying pathogens causing it. It can help you diagnose properly and manage it in a better way. So let's start. First of all, see age wise. In infant less than 6 months, common infections are RSV or Chlamydia trachomatis. Then up to 5 years of age, Haemophilus influenza infection is very common. Young adults commonly infected by Mycoplasma or Chlamydia. And among old patients, infections by Moraxella and influenza are possible. Now, if patient is having recent organ transplantation history, up to 4 weeks, chances of lung infections with Pseudomonas, Klebsiella or fungus like Candida and Aspergillus are common. Between 4 to 16 weeks, common pathogens are Pneumocystis carini, Nocardia and Cytomegalovirus. And if the transplant is more than 16 weeks old, then chances of lung infections with Mycobacteria is very common. It can be TB or it can be NTM. Among HIV patients, if CD4 count is more than 200, infections with TB or herpes can be suspected. If CD4 count is between 100 to 200, lung infection can be occurred by pneumocystis or candida. Cryptococcus, toxoplasma, these infections are common among CD4 count between 50 to 100. But if patient is severely immunocompromised, having CD4 count less than 50, cytomegalovirus and mycobacterium infections are very common. In DKA patients, streptococcus pneumoniae and Staph aureus can cause serious lung infections. Among alcoholic patients, those are more prone to infections with Klebsiella, Streptococcus and Staph aureus. Individuals with COPD are highly reliable for infections with Streptococcus and influenza. And in sickle cell patients, chances of Streptococcus pneumonia infections are high. Erythema multiforme, erythema nodosum can be caused by mycoplasma or lanjonal infections. Erythema gangrenosum it is a feature of either TB or chlamydia infection. Bullous myringitis is seen in patients with the mycoplasma infection. Pneumonia patient having periodontal disease, chances of lung infiltration with the anaerobic organism are very high. Associated encephalitis can be caused by mycoplasma pneumonia or coxilla burnetti. Cutaneous nodules, CNS manifestations, these are seen with LRTI in Pseudomonas, Nocardia or Cerecia infection. Expert exposure to air conditioning for long time, long hotel stay with hyponatremia and cerebral ataxia are typical features for Lanzionella infection. So friends, that's all for today's video. Hope you like it. I think it will definitely be going to helpful in choosing antibiotics empirically among the pneumonia patients. Thank you so much. Please do share, like or comment on the video and subscribe to our channel. Till then, goodbye. Think less, do more and always be happy for being healthy.